Hello, it's me again. Today we're going to walk through uh, this one Jupyter Notebook uh, done by uh, the guys at AI Revere, uh, Mr. Patrick Rodriguez, is preparing models for object detection with real and synthetic data and the NVIDIA Transfer Learning Toolkit. I really got interested in this because I really want to see how the synthet synthetic, synthetic data works out when it comes to training your models because I think that's probably the way we're, people are going to go because data collection is so such a laborious thing that anything to make it easier on the model trainers would, is better. So they have a write-up. They made a, uh, a, a Jupyter Notebook um, running like the TLT uh, Transfer Learning Toolkit. And here's their page. I have a link to this. And this is like their instructions and the results that they got. And we're going to actually run through the notebook uh, after we kind of talk about this here. So as you can see, here's the what the images they have. And then uh, here they go through what they've done and, and they explain it. And very, It's very well done. And they, they do the converting, setting up the mounts, getting the, 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 the model, running the benchmarks results and then to deployment so it's done done very well pruning the model so let's just go ahead and get this started and uh, see what it looks like so first of all uh, you know you do the get clone right here and get the stuff when you do you'll get a folder like this code rare planes TLT and this is where all your stuff is gonna uh, be done at then you kind of create your environment. I had to put uh, E and V in between there to get mine to work. And then uh, do a source activate rare planes, rare planes TLT. And if everything was done right, um, you should have your rare planes TLT environment running. So another thing you're going you're to have to do before you kind of we get going, um, you're going to have to get set up a AD, AWS SCLI. Because I needed this because there's places when you get your get the training data and uh, the images um, you're gonna need this these these credentials to be able to access them so I'll put a link to this and you basically it tells you how to set it all up once you get it set set all up you'll be able to access the uh, uh, the training data uh, and download it and I'll show you where that happens uh, as we get going and then uh, you also have to once you get done with that go ahead and uh, do your NGC config set set that up and then do your docker login and once you get your docker login uh, running then uh, run your Jupyter notebook then you can go to Jupyter notebook and get that running and once you do that you know it'll come up to you'll get this and this is if you guys run TLT before you're familiar with this and then there's the Jupyter notebook and then this is it right here now um, this took about this running this model it took me about I'd say 24 hours to run this um, and I have a GTX 1080 Ti so you know that's kind of if that's what you got be prepared for that time and then this goes through it again tells you how to do it what to do uh, import your OS make your directories you know and once you start doing that all this stuff will start being made and then uh, the, the, the define your download paths now here right here you're gonna download this uh, annotations and the training and all the test images and this is where you're gonna need your AWS login if you don't have it you it won't let you get past this and here's another thing I did is so this is where you download the synthetic data now this takes a long time this took about on my machine it took about three hours to download all this and I did have some issues I was on my Wi-Fi so I changed over to my uh, Ethernet connection my cable and, uh, and and did it that way because if if you drop some of the images on the download you'll have some problems later and I'll kind of show you where that'll show up at and then you do your check your data and then this is converting the coco to kitty format this is all done here and this is how you check it and then you look check it some more and if you want to see some uh check out some images and what they look like then you can do it right here a good thing here's a 
Let me close this. Let's look at some of the synthetic data. So these are the files. This is a normal. If you've done the, uh, the, the TLT uh, Jupyter Notebooks and you've run through those, this is the basic setup, basically the same way. Makes these files, um, you know, uh, test and train. So it, you, you'll be pretty familiar with this. Now for, well, let's look at some of the synthetic data, some images. This is of an airport, like basically looking from a satellite or up in the... So like here's just one. So this is pretty cool. I mean, it, you can see that these are these planes are synthetic, um, but there's enough detail on them that you can tell that they are different planes. So it's pretty neat. Now I don't know how this work when you would get down to really finite detail. You know, let's say you're really close to something, but but with this synthetic images, you can tell what models these are and what they are. So that's pretty good, you know. Uh, anything to help to get the uh, uh, easier way to get data for training is like, that's the key. So here's this one, let's look at another one. Like here, like this. So you can see the planes. So anyway, then we'll go back to here. And then this is where we set up our mounts for our Docker uh, container. So, you know, here you're pretty familiar with this workspace TLT experiments. You guys all should be pretty familiar with that. You run your mounts and then you do your check here. And then now we're going to process the data. We need to turn uh, the data sets into TF records. So we use our spec file to tell us uh, how we want to do it. And uh, just like in uh, the other TLT notebooks, there's, just, there's your spec file right there. And this is all the stuff you're going to need, all the, how, how they're supposed to run. Let's see. So, and like right here, and this is your doing your convert split. Now, like I say, if you had problems with your download with the synthetic one, this is where it's going to show up at. Right here. This is the issue I had. Because I didn't get really clean downloads but and it'll show up in here it'll say that it, it can't uh, find a lot of things but once you get it downloaded correctly it works just fine and then uh, download your model and uh, here check where your models at and then right here this is when you re run your first training now what's nice about this this, this is I, I, I had a problem right here I had a problem where uh, even though I had this in the folder that, that it said it was in, it couldn't find the folder. It couldn't find this. Uh, the well, what? Let's see. I couldn't find this. My model. So after some talking with AI Revere, what they did is they they had me do this. I had to do this TLT in a, in a in my terminal here did this and then I ran this that seemed to fix it okay and another thing too I noticed is I had to do a lot of um, maybe it's just my machine I had to do a lot of positioning or uh, give it permission give file records permission like a lot of these folders I had to actually give them individual permission because what happens when I, I would try and run these things and uh, it said it didn't have permission so I had to go in and set up maybe this is how my machine set up I don't know but look out for that so once I got this running uh, this is pretty good and this is another cool thing I really like this what they've done they output and before you know when you run your training in the NVIDIA uh, notebooks you can see it like uh, how it's running well here what they do is they do that but they set it out to a log and that's pretty neat like here ResNet 18 real amp 16 log where is that at right here so on this one they put it all out to a log which is pretty cool I like that because then you can reference it and they that's what they do they reference these logs as they kind of look for the 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 best uh, what was the best run and what gave the best uh, like uh, detection so but it's all all this and then when you're done you can go down to the bottom and you can see how you did Right there. So on this first training right here, 
We got 93% average precision, which is pretty good. And then here, this is where we do a lot of defining, we we'll define like the uh, definitions because we're gonna call these logs to get information. Right here, then you can run this. Total parameters, train on parameters, gives you all this. It looks for the best checkpoint. You're looking in the log for that. And then you want, if you want to evaluate it, ask, looks for the best checkpoint and do that. And then now we run some, the same experiment. We're gonna run it on some synthetic data. So um, like here, it does this, the same thing here. Um, but it puts this one out to the Resident 18 synth log. Let's close this. See, and then this shows what happened here. Now, here's another thing too. If you run this and it doesn't run the full cycle and it, and it faults and stops, it'll be in here. This is where I found a lot of times it'll tell me I didn't have file permission for some of the things that I did. Because I thought it was strange, but strange, but that's just kind of how my my mine was my computer is set up. And then uh, you know you can run this, check how you did, and then you can evaluate it. And then we're gonna fine-tune the synthetic train model with real data. This is where we do this. We do another split, and then we do some more training. Then we evaluate it, and then we prune our model. And uh, you guys should be familiar with this. Now, uh, what I've done is I left this uh, the way it is, and I noticed that um, the people that make these Jupyter notebooks they do a pretty good job of of finding the correct the best possible number to use. So I generally leave that to where it's at. And then uh, you can evaluate it again. Then we re retrain the model. Here's where we retrain it. Right here, uh, uh, outset synth fine tune 10, retrain the log. Let's see, where is that right there? And this is the log file. You know, average precision 91% very good and then you can you know you can test it again and then and then uh, then we quantitize the model because we're getting ready to deploy it so just run through this like you say if you've done the TLT Jupyter notebooks from NVIDIA this is the same thing does the same stuff um, except that they they made some modifications like they put it out to a log file and they they've added some extra training because we're training with synthetic data so quantitizing the model um, and then we're going to uh, check it out and then evaluate it and then export it now this is a you know this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna take to the to the uh, uh, in, in, in Xavier Annex or the, uh, the Jetson uh, Nano you know when we go to run deploy this and that'll be in here this is the folder you'll take right here that's what you'll take over to the Xavier Annex or Nano to do your conversion and then if we you can evaluate it how that model runs let's see how we evaluate it 91 percent precision very good so anyway so that's pretty uh, that's, that's about it when it's running the uh running through the jupyter notebook like i said they did a very good job um we give a shout out to patrick rodriguez and the guys at uh, uh ai revere um, I, I, I've done uh, quite a few uh, walkthroughs of the uh, NVIDIA TLT notebooks and this is easily on par with what they do and then uh, like that so I'm going to go ahead and put a link to um, this page how to set up your AWS credentials and then I'm going to get a, set up a link also to uh, you know how to log in get yourself up the docker nvidia docker uh a container going and the ngc config set and then uh, and here's another thing to uh just a little on the side note uh nvidia just let uh i just let this out to everybody it's uh, a lot of synthetic data libraries so this is pretty nice so i think uh synthetic data is probably the way things are going to go because it can be 
it's it's much easier to create and you can really customize um, uh, your data all right well thank you very much and uh, good luck with that and I, I'm, pr I'm probably gonna it won't be you won't see me uh, I wanted to de deploy a de model to the Xavier NX with this but like DeepStream 6 came out so I'm kind of focused on that for a little bit and then I'll probably come back to this all right thank you very much bye